since 1999 up until 2015, we never had industries established in this city. This factory is going to produce more than 5,000 tons of flour every day. Of course, it's going to be development in the community. This is thing we have never seen before here. But the excellency, the governor, has so graciously brought it to us, free of charge. What else can we thank God for? Our governor is actually doing more, and we thank him for this. We have only one project. And what is that project? Project of What is that project? Project of Our rising. rising. There is a beautiful color in the sky. It's an addition to blue. The color has turned the clouds to gold and decorates the wings of an economy that is taking off to croon triumphantly in the air. That Sinusha color is orange. It has announced Akwaibum State in the skies and stuns the world through the creativity and passion of the toast of good governance, Governor Udum Emmanuel. His innovation and inclination to economic prosperity spoke into the airways with the inaugural commercial flight of Ibum Air, a feat that is unprecedented in Nigeria and even in Africa by any state government. In all sectors of the economy, Governor Emmanuel's accomplishments can only be chalked up with golden inks. From the advent of his administration in 2015, Mr. Emmanuel has focused on developing the state's economy through industrial revolution, earning commendation from several leaders and stakeholders, including the Vice President of Nigeria, Yemi Oshibanjo, who hailed the syringe company, among other industries, as a brilliant idea set to boost the economy and provide job opportunities. This, however, heightened the bid to open up the state for investors, tourists, and various opportunities through land, air, and water. The inaugural commercial flight of Ibum Air was a message from Governor Odum Emmanuel to the world that there is nothing good leadership cannot achieve once the passion is right. The silent achiever spoke through the soft-spoken aircraft that signposts the feet of the greatness of Akwaibum State, whose leader has fired to the rare firmament of economic boom in the skies that was hitherto the exclusive of a select few. Represented at the inaugural flight ceremony by the Deputy Governor, Mr. Moses Ekbo, Governor Udum Emmanuel restated his commitment to making Akwaibum State the economic hub of the West African sub-region through investments in aviation and other allied industries as well as their cluster industries. The launching of this maiden flight by Boom Air is a testament to the vision of this government. It's a testament to the vision of my government and its our determination to rapidly industrialize this state by opening the three gateways to industrialization, land, sea, and air. The message and interlocking network of road constructions, and there are over 1,700 kilometers either already commissioned or currently ongoing. The Boom Seaport project, also currently on ongoing, and now the launch of the Boom Air Commercial Airline Operations. He said the inaugural commercial flight speaks volume of the sincerity and speed of his administration to unlock the tap of economic boom and prosperity for the state. This will open our state to endless opportunities. Investors will continue to flock into our state given the ease of traveling. The peace we enjoy and the hospitality of our people will continue. It is therefore to the glory of Almighty God that I bless the operations of Ibom Air and speak success, safety, and glory to the entire enterprise. Chairman Ibom Airport Development Commission, Utwe Kongidong Isetinkanga, 
said the investment in the aviation industry by the state government will not only diversify the economy, but open the eyes of others to see the enormous potential in the aviation industry. He noted that countries like Ethiopia make aviation their gold and crude oil. Since 1903, when the Wright brothers took a step of faith and took a vehicle into the sky, we've never looked back. So today, our private states has taken a step of faith and are sending an airline into the air. We will never look back. Let us remind all of us that what oil is to Nigeria is what aviation is to Ethiopia. And therefore, for improving, increasing the GDP of Ethiopia, it will airlines must increase the GDP of our private states. We will also thank, most importantly, Deacon Odom Emmanuel, whose leadership, whose leadership and magic of business has shown the progress that we have now witnessed today. May God bless him and his administration. May God bless our private states. Others also spoke in glowing terms of the governor's initiative that has been actualized with the speed of light and were upbeat that the state economy is set to function with the efficiency of a million carat Swiss watch. I want to thank God for the governor that we have, His Excellency Governor Demi Manuel, for this initiative to make this investment. I, I believe that um, for any economy to grow, they must be easily accessed by investors, either through the air, by land, or by road. His Excellency Governor Dome Manuel is very aware of these infrastructures that is needed, and he has gone ahead that even under very challenging financial difficulties or situation, he's been able to ensure that we have a boom air. The whole idea of having the state airline is to properly service the people of Aquaibum State, the tourists who are going to be att attracted to Aquaibum State, and the uh, investors. You would notice if you are a flying person that uh, this destination has not been properly serviced by the other airlines. And um, when the original uh, planners of this program came up, the whole idea was to ensure that there's a timely airline that would provide uh, air transportation to all people who want to be in Aquaibum State. The, post, the economic policies of this state cannot succeed without an airline that properly services this state. And so coming today to see the launch of uh, the first commercial flight is a dream come true. We thank God, without God this would not be possible. We are really happy that Ibom Air now has started uh, their flights because it is really important for us as a hotel that there is sufficient uh, capacity coming into Uyo. So, uh, because we actually had events which were cancelled because people couldn't get flights. And that is really tough for us. So, uh, we, we're really happy that this is, this is happening and we are working together with Ibom Air to promote people coming to Ibom, not just for business, but also for leisure. Um, today, as we stand, uh, Ibom Air has the newest fleet of aircraft in the commercial airspace in Nigeria. Um, so it only, it's only natural that um, because we have brought this innovation and we raised the bar in the aviation industry in Nigeria, um, Ibom Air automatically becomes the preferred choice of every flyer in Nigeria. And so ultimately, I'm here. I had scheduled to travel to Lagos to see my family. And because Ibom Air is launching today, charity must begin at home. Both the crew and passengers on board and on ground, the citizens, agreed that Ibom Air is indeed a flight to greatness of Akwaibum State and commended Governor Udumi Manuel for being an innovative leader. Akwaibum blazed the trail in ownership of um, the first private airport. Akwaibum is actually the first state to own its own airport, you understand, and we've equally blazed the trail in the ownership of an airline. And I think this um, opens up a visa of opportunities for our youths. You understand? Because you're going to have a whole lot of key stakeholders from Akwaibom participating in the aviation industry. So it's a very good development for Akwaibom State. Today, it's a beautiful thing that at least in my lifetime I've been able to witness the first flight. That's my, from my state. I'm from Akwaibom State, Colin. 
So it's been very, very interesting. I thank God for the government of the day, and I pray they should continue with their good work. We really appreciate it. I had to travel all the way from Calabar to make it from here so that I'll be one of those that are the first people to fly Ibom Air. It is a good thing because um, I believe in Ibom Air and I believe the best is going to happen and um, whatever I have experienced in other airlines, I'm very sure it's not going to happen in Ibom Air. So what Ibom Air would offer for us is that service that affords passengers to leave first thing in the morning and they come back in the evening. So whatever money you're meant to spend elsewhere, you bring it back home and then boost the economy of the state. And for the airport, it means more revenue for us because you need revenue for sustainability. So for us, it's a welcome development and it's a, it's, it's a project we've been waiting to take up. And we thank God that today that has been possible. I'm happy it's happening in my state, the first in the nation. And uh, I think the governor is doing his best. I'm not a political party member and uh, I also believe if somebody make a campaign promise he should put steps or machineries on ground to fulfill and I think he has tried and uh, we should give him applause for that and uh, he deserves a second time which he has gotten and I think he merited it and uh, Ibom Air being uh, the first in the country or the first state that has established it I think uh, it will help in a long way, make transportation easy for uh, my people. I'm excited to be a part of what's happening today. And I also want to thank His Excellency, Governor Udom Emmanuel, for this new development he has brought to us and for giving us this employment. I say may God bless him and give him the wisdom to continue to guide us. I'm so grateful to God that I'm here and I want to thank our able governor. Seriously, he has so tried. He has helped the youth because someone like me, I stayed for many years without a job and getting this job, it's a big wow for my family. So I want to thank His Excellency, Mr. Domi Mandel. Thank you and God bless you. With the commencement of commercial operations by the state airline, Governor Domi Manuel has assured that the Boom Air is an economic enterprise by the Akwaibum State Government that has come to stay. Governor Emmanuel gave the assurance at the Victor Atta International Airport. The governor said that his government has undertaken a proper business plan to ensure the success of the airline, stressing that Ibom Air is fully owned by the Akwaibom State Government. And let me just reassure Akwaibomites that we've done a proper business plan we don't just come in. It's not a political, uh, I mean, launch out today. It's purely economic and it's purely business. I want to reassure Quibomite that we've done a proper business plan. Ibome is coming to stay. What we also did today is just to let people know that Ibom Airlines Limited is a limited liability company. Government owns it 100%, but it's not run by government. It's run by the experts. Let me also thank uh, the members of management and staff of Ibom uh, Air Limited for a successful commercial launch out today. Indeed, the governor is innovative and result oriented. To him, every day in office is a tenure. Hence, no achievement must be dragged along as an unending episode. That is why, so far, the state government has constructed over 1,700 ongoing and completed kilometers of road and over 43 bridges across the state, among other infrastructures. There is a significant progress made at the Ibum Deep Sea Port, which will also be a sinusure of the world when fully completed. It is a golden testimonial for Governor Dom Emmanuel that today, Akwaibom State, through superlative performance, has set yet another unprecedented feat in the history of Nigeria and Africa at large, launching the first ever state-owned airline. This feat in aviation development is one that cannot be undermined, as it projects a wide range infrastructure, human resources and related capacity building. Ibom Air is projected to provide 400 direct jobs 
and over 3,000 indirect jobs for the people of Akwaibum State. The inaugural commercial flight recreates the unforgettable mood of the first landing, where the atmosphere was electrified with a lovable voltage of joy and rising hope of a people. The Victor Atta International Airport on that historic Wednesday, February 20, 2019, was filled with enthusiastic Akwaibumites, prominent politicians from across the country, including the then Senate President, Dr. Abubakar Bukala Saraki, who thronged the apron of the airport to witness the epochal event. Speaking at the inauguration and unveiling of the airline, former governor of Akwaibum State, architect Obong Victor Atta, whose vision led to the birth of the state airport, breathed a sigh of relief over what he described as the fulfillment of a seemingly impossible dream of successive governments. We have Governor Obnum Emmanuel who has seen it necessary to carry on the dream that we had several years ago. There was a time when it was believed that successive governments to destroy everything the previous government had done. But that is not so with Governor William Emmanuel. I was accused of running the government as a business. But William Emmanuel has come to confirm that it is the only way to run the government successfully. We have to run it not only as a business, but as a successful business. The history maker, Governor William Emmanuel, expressed satisfaction that part of his blueprints for Akwaibum people has materialized. Also, the governor assured that construction of the Ibum Deep Sea Port project would soon commence and become a reality before the end of his administration in 2023, as the investors and modalities to kick off the project are already on ground. Today marks a great history for every proud son and daughter, we are in Africa, a state that is known globally, a state that is acknowledged globally, a state that is viable globally, a state that has integrity, a state that has respect, a state that the world acknowledges, a state that the world can allow to take aircraft so that they can run a political aircraft. And that's what we are watching today. And not just today, this is the only state across the country that runs, manages, and we have one of the best international airports on this entire region. Our runway has been upgraded to a Category 2 runway, which is not common even to the African, African countries. The state owns, runs, and maintains this Victor Atta International Airport. And today, we are not only developing a deep water port, a deep sea port, we are also developing a logistics center in the Congress that will take out the downstream. Then between Ibro, Ubo, Estrated, and that axis, we'll have an industrial park with one of the deepest natural droughts of a deep sea port, which as of today, we already pre-qualified all the investors. We are just waiting for the last lap and then construction will, will commence. I want to reassure Bible people in the same way, by the special grace of God, before the end of this tenor, in year 2023, our will launch one of the most modern digital deep sea in the entire Africa. And that, I'm sure, will also come to fruition. The then Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, who doubled as a special guest of honor, described the event as historic and a demonstration of excellent leadership and congratulated Governor Emmanuel for his ability to bequeath landmark legacies. To me, it's a historic event. I congratulate the daughters and sons of Akwaibom. I congratulate my, my brother for what you have done, the government of Akwaibom. But beyond that, today, we celebrate leadership. Today we celebrate the good things that can come out of Nigeria. Today we celebrate the audacity of hope. Today we celebrate 
where a man has a dream for his people and he does not stop until that dream is realized. Because today what he has done, he has shown that he's every time he's thinking about his people. How can I make life better for my people? How can I bring investment to my state? How can I improve governance? And how can I provide leadership? I congratulate you. We are proud of you, the PDP family, and you are one of us. The technical consultant and general manager, Captain Von Udum, on his part, noted that the aircraft would be manned by the best professionals in the aviation industry and that the Ibum Air is one of the vehicles to drive the state's economy. He said the fleet would have 10 aircrafts, beginning with three, and the rest would be added. The Ibum Air is one of the vehicles to drive the economy. The economy in all parts of the world is driven by the visitors that visit a particular location. And for us, it is uh, a private state is going to benefit immensely from, from such visits. Ibom Air is a ready with 10 aeroplanes, another aeroplane will join in August. Three airplanes will join in 2020. And another three airplanes will join in 2021. Ecstatic indigents who came out en masse to celebrate with Governor Udumi Manuel congratulated him for the milestone achievement which has not only created jobs for teeming youths in the state but will as well catapult the economy of the state to the summit. They however thanked the governor for having the interest of the people at heart. There's been a lot of speculations about the aircraft coming in talking about the bomb A but today um, we are here to witness it for ourselves is no longer a dream but is a dream come true and uh, everybody can see that this is actually a governor who means well for um, our dear state. I'm really excited about what we are experiencing here today. Some years ago when Akwemu State Government came to take our land to build airports, we were, you know, we, were, we had mixed feelings but now we are very excited because it is attracting investors, it is attracting people to our Kobo local government area. So I am very excited that today Ibom Air, the first you know, airline that is owned by a state government in Nigeria, you know, will be inaugurated today. We are proud to be part of the history and it's happening right here in the land of Okobo local government area. This is the first time a thing of this magnitude has happened in Nigeria. For a state government to own an airline, it's uh, uh, unbelievable. And I want to thank His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Akwa Ibom State, for being able to achieve this. As you are aware that uh, during this period, uh, transportation outside each state of the Federation is an issue. And for Akwa Ibom State to have its own aircraft, is a plus to the federal republic of Nigeria. Governor Odo Emmanuel's commitment to opening up Akwaibum State through land, air and sea has so far been actualized with the numerous road infrastructures, aviation development and the upcoming Ibum Deep Seaport. This is only possible because Governor Odo Emmanuel is passionate about giving Akwaibum State an economy that is self-sustaining futuristic and sustainable. This and more are the luggage of Ibum Air, the orange magic on the runway for a flight of destiny to arrive at the destination of greatness. This is your season, this is your time. We are the lights, we'll conquer us.
Fear of people blessed and free Rise to build your destiny Stand up for a quiet bar